the crowning achievement of Britain's Queen Elizabeth was to maintain the popularity of the monarchy across decades of seismic political, social and cultural change that threatened to make it an anachronism. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. Elizabeth helped steer the institution into a modern world, stripping away court ritual and making it somewhat more open and accessible, all in the glare of an increasingly intrusive and often hostile media. While the nation she reigned over sometimes struggled to find its place in a new world order, and her own family often fell foul of public expectations, the Queen herself remained a symbol of stability. She also tried to transcend class barriers and earned the grudging respect of even hardened Republicans. To much of the world, she was the personification of Britain, yet she remained something as an enigma, as an individual, never giving an interview and rarely expressing emotion or offering a personal opinion in public. A woman recognized by millions, but known by hardly anyone. At first, Elizabeth relied heavily on her father's old circle of advisors, but gradually she brought in some more career diplomats and business executives to the royal court, as she and her husband Philip sought to modernize the monarchy. In the last 20 years, backed by a far more professional and sophisticated media operation, there was still pomp and pageantry, but less formality around the queen and her family. Her working life included thousands of official engagements, varying from trips to schools and hospitals to the grand ceremonies of state visits and national occasions. She was famous for wearing brightly colored outfits with a matching hat on royal engagements to ensure she stood out from the crowds on her many walkabouts. She traveled further than any previous monarch, overtaking more than 250 overseas visits to well over 100 countries. She was renowned for her stamina and began cutting back on a once hectic timetable of foreign tours only as she moved into her 80s. Even in her 90s, she regularly carried out engagements. On one such event, at the age of 93, she told officials she was still capable of planting a tree before shoveling the soil into a hole, and it was another two years after that before she needed to use a walking stick in public.